Welcome back to MC's Kitchen Outdoors, folks. Welcome to a new video. What we have for you today is we're making our Sunday sauce on a Tuesday. But we are going to be making meatballs and sausage for our Sunday sauce. And we're using fresh ground beef. We're using fresh ground veal and fresh ground pork for our meatballs. So we're gonna, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get our meatballs made and, and set aside and fried up before they go in the sauce. And we got some uh, vegetables that we need to get chopped up. We got some peppers that we're gonna be putting in the sauce. We got some scallions. We got some onion and we got some garlic and we have some fresh parsley we're gonna be putting in there. Along with all our spices and everything else, which you're gonna get to see right here on MC's Kitchen Outdoors. So folks, Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and please leave comments down below. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to get done, we want to get going on these meatballs. So we got to mix all of our chopped meat together. We have, we're making a lot. So we're making, we're freezing a lot of this so we can make meals later on. So we have three and a quarter pounds of chopped meat. So basically three pounds of chopped meat. Going right into our mixing bowl. We have a pound of pork, chopped pork meat. So we're gonna get this in here. Oh, that smells delicious. I love chopped pork. And we have our ground veal. Come on. There we go. So we literally have five and a half pounds of chopped meat here. Five and a quarter. Probably a little bit over, probably about five and a half pounds of chopped meat of chopped meats. Um, sausage, we're gonna fry up separately. Um, we don't want to mix that in with this, obviously. So, time to get the hands dirty. Um, I need a couple of eggs. So for five pounds of eggs, we're gonna use three eggs. For five pounds of meat, we're gonna use three eggs. We need to get our breadcrumbs in, which we will be using both panko and regular breadcrumbs. The panko is just for a little extra texture. I'm going to say it's about a quarter cup of panko, and it's going to be about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more than half a cup of regular breadcrumbs. That's about a half a cup right there. We'll start with that. If we need more, we can add more. I would some salt. We're gonna throw some pepper in here. Some red pepper flake we're gonna put in here. Not a lot. Because I'm not looking to make this too spicy. We're gonna get some parsley. I got some dried parsley we're gonna use for this. We're gonna use some basil. And we're going to use some um, thyme 
in this. Not a lot, don't need a whole ton. And then we're gonna put some onion powder and garlic powder in. Yeah, his and we're gonna add some garlic powder. The last thing we're gonna add to this, and I gotta get it open, is we're gonna add a little red wine to the meatballs just for some moisture and that flavor. Red wine's gonna go in the sauce also but I want some of it in my meatballs and I'm going to say it's no more than a quarter cup. It's basically just for flavor and a little bit extra moisture, that's all. Alright, now it's time to get these things dirty. It's going to take forever also. So we're actually, we're going to put this aside and let it rest for a few. Because I want to get my vegetables that I need to get chopped up, all done and taken care of now. So, so we're, going to let, we're going to let the chopped meat sit and rest for a few. We're going to get our vegetables chopped up that we need to get chopped up. I want to get that stuff out of the way and done and taken care of. So we're going to take care of that now. Let's start with our scallions. them back here out of the way let's get our onion done I'm using this whole onion folks yes I'm using the whole onion it's a nice big onion I'm using the whole thing I know it looks like a lot of onion, but I'm making a large sauce because we're going to jar the sauce after it's been done. And I'm going to um, water bath it so that I can keep it for a good amount of time. Let's get our peppers done. I'm sure you've noticed as of late that you're seeing different kind of pepper than you used to from me, especially over the last couple of videos. I've been using these uh, Wild Wonders. Um, I like them. And they store longer. And they actually, I actually really do like them a lot. They're not sponsoring me, so there's no need to ask. Sunday sauce or gravy, whatever you want to call it. That's a good question. Do you like it as a Sunday? Do you like to call it a Sunday sauce or do you like to call it a gravy? 
post it down in the uh, the comments below. What you what you call your your sauce or whatever that you make for your pasta. Do you call it a gravy or do you call it a sauce? I know my wife calls it a gravy. I call it a sauce. Alright, so we got parsley left and we got garlic left. All we got left is this parsley. We'll get that chopped up real quick. And then we'll get our meatballs done. I have some Italian leaf curly parsley right here. I'm going to use quite a bit of it. So these meatballs I'm making now, I don't know. Um, I'm going to say they're about four ounces. Total meatballs that are five and a quarter pounds. And they're large, they're rather larger meatballs. They're not small meatballs. If I had made normal sized meatballs, I'd probably have 50 meatballs right now. Alright, folks, so it's time to get our meatballs and sausage fried up, and then we'll get our sauce going as soon as that's done. I also have another Come here, baby. Come say hello to the fans. Mm, I don't have fans. <laughs> hey, baby. Hi, baby. Ooh, do it again. <laughs> Ooh. You like a drink? Some wine? Want some wine? Red? Mm. Mm -hmm. Go get a glass. I don't know where you put them. Away. Wrong place. Supposed to be with the carafe on the Wait, bar. Your son broke the other ones. I broke them. I need to open. Wow. I broke them. I'll be the first to admit it. I broke them. I dropped one taking it out of the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Sent it across the dining room. And broke one in the dishwasher. Cabinet Sauvignon. 
Okay. See, I like Liberty Creek's Cabernet. Their Cabernet is actually very good. For a cheap wine, Liberty Creek puts out a good Cabernet mm -hmm. Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. And Yingling puts out a great black and tan. Mm -hmm. Not sponsored. Mm -hmm. At least not, not yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. So, let's get it started. I got the wife over here stripping. Yep. Get these things started up. And once this stuff is done, we'll start getting the um, the sauce going. Not adding any salt or pepper to this because the meatballs have enough salt and pepper in it that it's gonna seep out and help with the cook on the sausage. Sauce has got enough seasoning in it already that it doesn't need anything extra in it. All the extra seasoning is gonna go in the sauce. And folks, we're not we're not trying to fully cook any of this. We're just looking to get some color on it because it's going to finish cooking in the sauce. How long is that not the sauce running for? <laughs> what time is it? I don't know, what's up there? I haven't fixed that since the power went out. Oh. 5.30 now, 7.30. Maybe two hours on that sauce. So you might want to cook this meatball for a little longer. They're, they're big boys. Yeah, they're big boys, still cook enough. Alright, so this is the cast iron pot that we're going to be doing our, um, our sauce in. I am going to get a little bit of olive oil in here to get it started off. Not a lot, probably about two teaspoons, two tablespoons. Yeah, that's all we need. We don't need any more than that. Because we're still going to have a lot of fat and oil coming off the sausage and the meatballs. So we don't need a ton in there. Alright folks, we're going to get our peppers started. Okay. Our meatballs and sausage are cooked enough. I just don't want to put them in there yet. So I just turned off the heat, killed the heat. Gonna let it finish off a little bit more um, with, the, with the leftover heat that's in the cast iron. We're gonna get the rest of the vegetables finished up in here. We're gonna get the, our meat in and then we're gonna get our sauce in with all our spices and everything else that we need to get in it. Garlic's going in folks. Scallions going in. So she can't steal anymore. Okay. 
And while this is just finishing up, I'm going to douse this with a little bit of red wine. Just to help with um, cooking off all the stuck on bits. Also help with cleaning afterwards. Go ahead and get all this goodness into our pot. Oh, that should be pan. My hands are tender. That is cute. Watch that, be careful, don't touch it. All right, now I am gonna... So we're using petite diced tomatoes. along with tomato sauce and uh, tomato paste. All right, so we have all our sauce in our pot. Our vegetables are in the pot. Our meat is now in the pot. So we are going to get our spices in here that we need to start off with and we'll test it halfway through and see if it needs some more. But I am going to start off with my red wine. And that is about a cup of wine. Maybe a little bit more than a cup. We're going to get a little bit more garlic powder in. About a teaspoon. We're going to get about a teaspoon of onion powder in here. We're going to get a teaspoon of salt. Black pepper, we're going to get almost a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Probably about three quarters, uh, three quarters of a tablespoon. <clears throat> parsley, we don't have to worry about the dried parsley because we got fresh parsley that has to go in here. We're going to go with red pepper flake. This parsley? And we're only going to go with probably a half teaspoon of red pepper flake. Because we're not trying to make this heat, you know, spicy hot. We want this to be just nice. I'm gonna get two bay leaves out. Bay leaves going in. Oh, we need sage. That's the other thing. We need out. sage, yes we do. I have not much Italian seasoning left and we're gonna use about half of this. So it's about a tablespoon and a half. I don't think you need anything else then because it's basil. It's not enough. Parsley. It's dried. It's not enough. Yeah, oh, okay. We're going to get some thyme in. That's about a half teaspoon. Rosemary. We're going to use the rest of what we have left in here, mm -hmm. which is Not a, a quarter teaspoon. Thank you. And the big things that we're going to put in here are going to be basil. which is a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more, and oregano. You're spewing. Get this stirred up, and then we're going to add mm. our parsley because we're we're about up to temperature. Oh. 
You know what we forgot? What did we forget? Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Yes, we did. I could go with empty down to get it. You could if you want. Let me see. See if he wants to take it. Yep. All right. They're going to good. Now we have, like I said, we have probably a half a cup of parsley going in. All right, we're going to get this covered up. We're going to leave the two end pieces here open so it allows steam to come out. And it will allow this to thicken as as it slowly cooks. But right now, we're done. We're going to let this sit and cook for a couple hours. And we're going to see how it is, if I need to add anything. And then we'll let it go for another half hour, 45 minutes after that. And we should be ready to eat. So we'll bring you back when this is almost ready. Sauces just about done it's actually it's done I'm just letting it go as long as I can we have our water boiling for our pasta we're doing rigatoni tonight with this so the water's just about boiling I'm almost ready to put the rigatoni in let's go ahead and get our pasta into the water and yes, I salted my water. The water has been salted. We'll get that going. And we should be eating in about 15 minutes. So, wait until you see that. This is going to look so All right, folks. It is time to put all this together. <clears throat> We have our pasta, we have our sauce with our meatballs and sausage. We have some Parmesan cheese to sprinkle over the top. And we have some Italian bread with some garlic and herb butter. MJ, what would you like? One sausage, two meatballs? Yes. Shave some of this Parmesan right on top. He can grab himself some butter. Pass me a knife. Yeah, that would help, wouldn't it? Here's a knife. Grab yourself some butter, some bread. And there you go, folks. There's the plated sausage and meatballs Sunday sauce on a Tuesday don't say gravy don't say it don't say gravy. it gravy with some rigatoni folks gravy Sunday sauce sauce whatever you want to call it it's all good doesn't matter as long as it's good First things first, gotta try the, the sauce with the bread. Mm. That's the first things first. I went straight for the meatballs. <clears throat> mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That garlic butter is delicious. Yep. Who knew? Wow. So, who, what is it? Little wait, eggs? Wait. Lando Lakes Garlic and Herb Butter Spread. Who knew? That stuff is delicious. All right. I didn't try, expect it to be Gonna try the pasta and the pasta. sauce. <clears throat> oh, that's good. 
Yeah, make sure you get that meatball. Now the meatball cuts with a fork. Nice. Smells good. Now this is a traditional meatball. Pork and veal. Ground beef, pork and veal. Right there. Actually need wine with this. Wow, this is delicious. <coughs> I'm trying the sausage, folks. Oh, cut with a fork. Another winner on a Sunday sauce, folks. Gravy. Sauce. Gravy. It's another winner. Whether it's gravy or sauce, it's a winner. <clears throat> well, folks, we're going to enjoy this immensely. I got a lot of stuff I got to put away, then I got to finish off these beans. So, you guys take care, be safe, and we'll see you on the next video. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. This food. Oh, delicious.